All right, for our last section of geometry, we're gonna move on and talk about volume and how to find the volume of different prisms, cylinders, and pyramids. Of course, before we start, we have to look at our dorky math joke. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless, but on shh. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You might wanna pause here to fill in some of the uh, definitions here but volume is the amount of space that fills a 3D shape. To find the volume of a prism, we're gonna look at BH, capital BH, that's area of the base times height. Pyramid is one third of that, so one third times BH, or one third times area of the base times height. That's a new formula for you. And cylinders, again, we don't look at cylinders a lot, but TTM does show them a lot, so I want you to be aware of them. Pi r squared h. And actually, the pyramid formula is actually the same for cones as well. So if you encounter cones on TTM, you'll know the formula for that as well. One thing I would especially write down here is that capital B is the area of the base. So it's not just the length, it's the area here. Okay, let's solve some problems. Example one, Bradley's tent is in the shape of a triangular prism. How many cubic feet of space are in the tent? So again, we start by finding the area of the base and multiplying by the height of the prism, because that's gonna tell us how much space fills up that triangular prism. So we'll start, always start with the area of the base, just like we did with surface area. And we see if we just look at this triangle, the base is six and the height is four. So one half of six times four. Now in surface area, we didn't do the one half part because there were two triangular faces. Here, we only account for one of those faces. So half of six is three times four is 12. So we go to our formula BH, 12 times the height, which is nine. And that gives you a volume of 108 feet cubed. That's the distinction here. It's not squared, it is cubed here. Um, because when we talk about volumes, we talk about how many cubic units we can fit inside the shape. Pause here and try you try one. All right, so. And you try one, we started with the area of the base, which is one half of 24 times seven. Half of 24 is 12, 12 times seven gives you 84. And so when we look at area of the base times height, 84 times 22. which gives us a total volume of 1,848 meters cubed. So volume's a lot quicker, probably a little bit easier than uh, finding the surface area of a figure. All right, let's move on to cylinders. So remember our cylinder formula is pi r squared h. Don't forget pi r squared is how we find the area of a circle. So kind of like the other formulas, the capital BH, area of the base times height, that's what we're doing here. We're finding the area of the circular base and multiplying by the height. So pi times five squared, because if you look here, our radius is five, times the height of 13. That's 3.14 times 5 squared is 25 times 13, which gives us a volume of 1,020.5. And I don't have units here, so we'll just write units cubed. Pause and try you try two. All right, and you try two. Keep in mind you have a diameter of 11. 
which means your radius is five and a half centimeters. So looking at our formula, pi r squared h, 3.14 times your radius, 5.5 .5 squared, times the height, which is 16. That's how tall the cylinder is, 3.14 times 5.5 .5 squared times 16, 5.5 .5 squared, let's write that down, let's not forget that, is 30.25, and if we multiply all that together, 3.14 times 30.25 times 16, we get 1,519.76 centimeters cubed. Let's move on to pyramids. Now pyramids formula is one third the area of the base times the height. Or to kind of make it easier, you could find the area of the base times the height and divide by three. So either one of those formulas is perfectly fine. And if you're wondering why we divide by three or why it's one third base times height, start thinking about that. Why you think that might be. And I'll show you in class why that one third is so important here. But let's look at these examples here. They happen to be the exact same examples from surface area. And so we'll start by finding the area of the base. Five times five is 25. Now I did not give you a height on these. So I'm gonna give that to you now. Now we're not looking at slant height. Okay, so height is not the same as slant height. You might want to pause and write that down. So let's say the height of this is 7.6. All right, so area of the base is 25, the height is 7.6, and we'll take whatever that is and divide it by 3, and that'll give us one-third of that. So 25 times 7.6 is 190 divided by 3, and let's round this answer to the nearest hundredth because you do get a number that uh, repeats itself. And so remember in class we've talked about if you get a number that repeats itself or goes on for a really long time, you can round that to the nearest hundredth. I'm okay with that. 63.33, all repeating, inches cubed. I'm going to have you try the triangular pyramid and the height, not the slant height, the height of that pyramid is going to be 13.3. If that's hard to see, your H value is going to be 13.3. Pause here and try. All right, so let's start with the area of the base. We did find this when we did the surface area, but just to kind of go over that again, if we just look at this triangle, you see that the height here is 8.7, and what's perpendicular to it is 10. One half of 8.7 times 10 was 43.5 meters squared. So there's our base area, 43.5 times your height, 13.3. We're going to divide that by 3. 43.5 times 13.3 is 578.55. And if we divide that by 3, you get a final answer of 192.85 meters cubed. So the only difference between prisms and pyramids is that you divide by three on a pyramid. Finally, I want to look at composite solids, just like we did with composite uh, solids with surface area. 
we can find the volume of each part of a figure and add them together. And you're gonna find it's a lot easier with volume because we don't have to find all these areas of different shapes. You really only need the area of the base. So let's start here on example four. Allie has two aquariums connected by a small prism. What is the total aquarium's volume? So we have two shapes here. And if you look on the left and the right, they're actually both the same dimensions. So we can take whatever the value is of one and just double it and then add that to whatever the uh, volume of this shape is right here in the middle. So if I look here, it looks like my area of the base is four by three. That's three up here, so it'll be three down here because it's parallel. Okay, we know four times three is 12, so that's your area of the base. Times your height, which is three. Gives me 36 feet cubed. You look over here, we also have a base area of three by four, which is 12 times your height, which is three, which is 36. Now we wanna find the volume of that figure right there. Okay, and finish drawing this out. We'll just kinda of draw the inside so you can kind of see what that looks like inside. It looks like I have a base length of two and a width of one, so two by one, which we know is two, times our height, which is also one. So the volume of that, area of the base is two, times one is two. So the volume of that is two feet squared. So we'll add that together, 36 plus 36, plus two gives us a, a total cubic feet of 74 feet cubed. I'm gonna have you move on to U-try number four. Now my challenge to you in U-try four is to look at this as a trapezoidal prism. It is technically a rectangular prism and a triangular prism together, but why not save some of the work here and treat this as a trapezoidal prism? Go ahead and pause and try. All right, so let's find the area of this trapezoid, which remember, one half the height times base one plus base two. One half, looks like my trapezoid is 13 inches tall. And I have base one up here, which is 13. Keep in mind, this is a square right here, which means all the sides are going to be 13. Plus, if it's 13 at the top here, it'll be 13 down here. 13 and 9 make 22. So that's half of 13 times 13 plus 22 is 35. So half of 13 times 35 gives you 227.5. Okay, and this is a prism, so don't forget area of the base times height to find the volume. Two hundred twenty-seven point five times the height, which is 30. So that length, even though it's laying on its side, that height is still 30. And that should have given you a total area of 6,825 inches cubed. Make sure you do fill out the summarize and reflect question at the bottom. How can you find the surface area of a composite solid made up of prisms? And if you have any other questions, let me know.